This is Brother Peter Diamond, VaticanCatholic.com. I wanted to make a few quick comments about the suicide of Rick Warren's son. We think there is a connection between his son's suicide and the fact that Rick Warren is a major false teacher. For those who don't know, Rick Warren is a heretical Protestant and a horrible compromiser even of his own principles. His signature work, The Purpose Driven Life, was about finding the true purpose and meaning of one's life. Yet his son, the one in his own family, exemplified exactly the opposite finding so little meaning or purpose in life that he chose to end his own. God allows things like that to happen to major false teachers as additional examples that at the end of the road, their message is bankrupt, false, and leads to destruction. This is especially true with someone as well-known and influential as Warren. In fact, Warren revealed that some years ago, his son told him that the Protestant doctrine of eternal security and faith alone, that you are assured of your salvation as long as you believe, encouraged him to suicide. Quote, Dad, I know I'm going to heaven. Why can't I just die and end this pain? End quote. Of course, the Protestant teachings of faith alone and eternal security are false and completely unbiblical. But the conclusion of Warren's son, that if faith is all you need, why not end it, flows logically from the false Protestant doctrine. His son also probably perceived the inconsistency between Warren's compromising approach and the uncompromising truth of the Gospels. This would necessarily leave the son with an overwhelming emptiness. For if even Christ's truths must be accommodated to the world, as his dad's approach indicates, then what is sure, solid, and immutable? Of course, it was his own bad will that ultimately drove him down the road he followed, suicide, but the heretical and compromising environment showed him the way.